just wanted to have an anchor or something. And, you know, I always, you amaze me, man, whenever you just can, actors and movies, and because I can't remember them, man. Yeah. Like, sometimes I, I, I can't you either. Get going and it, it gets, I, I, I enjoy it. So, yeah, we had just a few movies we were going to write down and, and just come with and just see where it took us because mm-hmm. I'm sure we'll end up talking about something else. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, and that's fine. Good. That's fine. So, you go first. I'll say what. You give your, so save your best Ben Stiller movie for a second. Give me your, what you, you can say movie or role because I, the more I thought about it, like, yeah, he's in some, he's in a lead role in a handful of movies, but he also has some great secondary roles. And we can maybe talk about that. After, once we get going, and I'm sure we will, but um, tell me what his main role, he, he played a main character in a film, number two for you. Not your favorite one, but number two. Now that you said that, it's such a man. I got three down, and I got another over here that's a mystery, and I don't know if you bring that up or not, so I got a few of them. But anyways, as I started thinking about it, I just love his character in the movie Dodgeball. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I mean, Vince Vaughn. The, Vince Vaughn is Vince I think, the, the main character. character. So when you started saying that to me, I was like, man, now I want to say the other one, but the mm-hmm. other one, I've anticipated, could take us onto bewilderment. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> so I was gonna hold off on that. I didn't bring the Nintendo Power for Ken Griffey Jr. So I was gonna hold off on that one for a minute. So I'm gonna go with the, just his character on Dodgeball. He's got the bull painting up there. Yes. He's got Michelle, laser blazer. He's like, oh, man. I just think it's so funny yeah. to me, his character, man. They got okay. the little dance. And, and you know, dodgeball, I just remember, like, that was the first time that I had, like, dodgeball tournaments. And oh, you started, you first started oh, doing well, you, it. Well, you started seeing it on ESPN, like the, uh, <laughs> the uh, ESPN The Ocho, which came from there. They showed it during uh, uh, right, Cotton here recently. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Good stuff. So dodgeball. That's your number two. Dude, and let me tell you something. Real quick. I'm okay, sorry. I'm not oh, going to go. Please go. Let me tell you something. So I on field day. You're about to witness this when Cannon, your oldest, goes to actual kindergarten. Mm-hmm. We go to field day. Dodgeball or game? I guess this is dodgeball. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> There's pins that when I played with pins, it was a little different. It was called battle ball. It was a little different. Yeah. You could still throw the ball. Correct. This was pins. It's like the kids who couldn't get the, or guard the two pins at the top of the elbow. Now we got pins everywhere for everybody to knock pins That's down. That's the whole goal. You cannot throw the ball. Oh, you no. can only roll the ball, and they're calling this dodgeball. Oh, no. I'm like, I can't watch it. It's embarrassing. It is awful, man. I'm telling All you. All right. So, I, dodgeball. I that's your number two. All dodgeball right. is my number two, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. But then I might not get to my other number one, but then I got one that I want to attach. Well, we'll, we'll, we will. We will. We'll attach it. All right. Go ahead. Maybe. I don't so, know. you go I'm ahead. I'm sure we will. So, what was your so I, dodgeball? So, so I probably had three also, so I'm going to sort of bring my third one in whenever you bring your third one in. I'm going to go with my second one. Tropic Thunder, man. <laughs> if you haven't watched that movie in a long time, you should go watch it because Ben Stiller directed it. I'm not sure that he produced it, but I know he directed it. He did a lot of stuff on that film. And it is one of the most underrated comedies that's out there. Tropic Thunder is hilarious. There is a white guy doing blackface, Robert Downey Jr. It is oh, hilarious. Man. And I've seen many, many... Dude, it's hilarious. There's been, I've seen many people be like, oh, well, he's allowed to do it. You know? he's, he's that type of actor. He's, and he does an incredible job at it. But And it was more than that. It wasn't just him doing blackface. It was more him showing that. Some of these actors, you know, will do anything to, you know, get the recognition they think they want or whatever. It has the guy who's in uh, uh, Kenny Powers, Pineapple Express. Yeah, he plays. Like, he it? plays the. Um, gosh dang man, I, I wish you wouldn't ask me. He, he plays like the someone special who, effects. He someone is like commenting the, and they really. Learn yeah, the yeah, please do. Um, but he plays like the special effects guy in the movie. That's correct, but. Uh, Ben Stiller plays Tug Speedman, so he's like a, supposed to be a method actor too, and it's it's hilarious. Tropic Thunder, that's mine. I don't have much else to say about it. If you haven't watched it in a while, go watch it. You will laugh. Me and Tyler Myers went and saw it opening night when it came out in theaters. It is funny. You should watch it. That's my number two. Ben Stiller, I hope you don't steal my number one. <laughs> if you do, that's fine. I've got a backup. Uh, I go did. ahead. I got lots of backups. We'll just go with which one you're, you're right, favorite so over I, there. I, I, 
And the first one, when we initially asked me, this one came to my mind, and then I'm going to do another one, and then another one. Because if Tyler Myers is here... <laughs> so you got four? I, I'm not doing Tyler Myers' for him. Okay. I mean, we're going to bring it up. We can bring it up. But I'm I've not, never called him out by much. name for not showing up tonight. Well, he didn't say he was going to. That's true. That's true. We just wanted him to. Anyways, okay. y'all all have people like that. I'm like that sometimes. Like, yeah. I don't want to throw cornhole, but I can only throw cornhole for 20 minutes. Yeah, I know what you're saying. But anyways, so, got diapers to change. <laughs> so, the first movie I said out of nowhere was Mystery Man. That and is it, true. It just kicks in my head. Furious Man, I think that's his name in that movie. Or oh. Furious, Furious. He gets mad. He's crazy. The girl's got the bowling ball as well. I'm not sure he has the, an actual name. Yeah, what's but. crazy is is the Arabian in that movie, or he's not Arabian, but he throws the forks. <coughs> is it the same actor in Harry Potter who has Voldemort in the back of his head? No. Because they remind me of the same That's person. only because they wear the turban. <laughs> it's the same turban. Yeah, different guy. Oh, man. I guess that's why I got uh, called the the white math teacher all year, because you just look a little bit alike him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, so Mystery Man, I love it. The one guy has the shovel and is like calling all those people. And it's like Mr. Amazing, which now when I was watching the trailer again, I was like, I never saw it. But like the movie yeah. Kazam you said was good or whatever too. Or... Oh, the most, the most recent one that came yeah. out? It's actually Mr. Pretty Amazing good. Yeah. reminded me of just the trailer. Uh, of yeah, that yeah. It's um, uh, not so, Kazam. Kazam is Shaquille O'Neal. We have talked about that movie too. But, uh, so I watched Shazam. The, Shazam, yeah. So Shazam. I watched the trailer of Mystery Man again. And what is crazy about this is... I've got it, Tyler. It is Smash Mouth All-Star. And that, <laughs> and that song is incredible. And what that song actually reminds me of, and i got to say, like, my one of my... He's not my youngest son anymore because late today, but I once made a, like, a 3U highlight film. <laughs> We're all been that, that a I'm highlight saying. film. I will share it. A highlight film of him, and that is the song. He's, like, 3U playing against 5U. Yeah. It's twice the size. It is... Unbelievable! Why am I doing that? Proud dad, but it's it's fun. But between that, that brings us all the way back to the so beginning. So, Mystery like, Man is your number one. Then I love more youth sports. Youth sports. We need to have on that. I agree. So, Mystery Man is not my number one. It was just one that I then had all those connections. So, am I, I just going to give my semi mod? So, what is that? Your uh, what would we consider that? I technically, the award if life? I'm going by my notes, I have told you my third one, and then my sidebar Mystery Man one. Your third one. So you've got. Two more. more above those two? One of them is Tyler Myers. Well, I'm about to give my number one then because I feel like you're going to take it from me. Go ahead. I'm not going to take it from you. So am I giving my number one or my sidebar here? You're number one and then we can do a few sidebars. All right. So my number one is definitely heavyweights. I wouldn't take that one. It's got to be. It's got to be, man. <laughs> like, it's one of the best of all time. Um, his dad is in it. Jerry Stiller plays the owner of the camp at the beginning. Um, they uh, Obviously, Tony Perkis. Uh... Um, his character comes in and puts in the Perkins system. One of the great Disney live action movies of all time. I've never met a single person that you've brought up heavyweights and like, oh, I just didn't like that movie. Never heard it. It's so funny. Never heard it. It's great, dude. You go back and watch it now. It, yeah, holds the candy. Up. it is so funny, man. Yeah. Chipmunks down low. <laughs> they freaking. They have like the secret stump where they're going and getting the candy from whatever, and yeah. then they got the other camp. He ends up driving like the go kart at the yeah, end. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness! It's so good. Goodness. It's so good. So good. Camp it's kind of like the dodgeball character. Very similar <laughs> characters. I wish I could remember his name. If Tyler was here, he would. Um, Who, which, I'm not talking about him, the dodgeball character. Um, I'm, Tony Perkis is the uh, heavyweights character. That's a great movie, man. Uh, if you don't have Disney Plus, what are you doing? <laughs> Slipping on a rock. He weighs. You should have it. If you haven't watched that movie in a while, that's when you should definitely watch. It's good. Um, if you haven't watched Tropic Thunder, watch that also. Um, we're off on a Ben Stiller tangent like a madman right now, but I think that was sort of the point. Jerry died this week, so we don't know much about him, so we'll honor him in talking about our Ben Stiller movies because he was right in our childhood and moving into our adulthood type actor. So. Dude, so many movies. It, like You forget he did all the Night of the Museums. I, I don't forget that. I know he did that. I'm one of my ones that he forgets, and I hope you aren't about to say it. I, I don't want to ruin it for you, but the character he played in Happy Gilmore is one of my favorites. I was about to say it, but now that you, you were said about it, to. No. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so he plays like the um, overseer of the retirement home that uh, Happy Gilmore's mom says, and it's a, that's hilarious. I mean, he has the mustache. Right? He has the Fu, he has the Fu Manchu going on. Yeah, it's great. I say you're in my world now all the time. Like, yeah, or it's yeah. like um, uh, 
a lake and I have to warm up his milk. So I always think of that movie too. But yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, what's your number one? Well, I mean, I'm going to say this one because I think it's very funny. And I feel like now that I look back on it, I didn't even know Will Ferrell was, you know, this amazing, funny man. But like, yeah. Sue Lander, man, Jerry Stiller's in it. It's, that's Tyler Myers for sure. I know, man. Yeah. It doesn't even feel right me saying it. That's why I have this other one. Yeah, but Jerry's in that too. So it fits yeah. the bill. It's funny. <laughs> he just hits those poses, man. It's just so funny. He's like swimming in the black coat. I got the black button pop. Like, there's just so many. When he's the mer- <laughs> when he's the merman on the commercial and they, you know, he's been working with his dad. Relax. Swim. What's up, merman? Merman. I'm sad because you come from a mermaid. Vince Lewis is hilarious to me. Like, underrated comedian. Um, I don't know if he did stand up or not. I assume he did stand up at some point. I don't know, but um, a lot of the movies he's in are funny, man. All the Meet the Parents movies are funny. The first one is hilarious. Him and Robert De Niro. That is Dude, I thought you were so going to do that movie, Meet the Parents, because I thought I was. So That's one of my sidebars, and it's great, but it doesn't touch Tropic Thunder or Heavyweights, I'll be honest with you. It's funny. The uh, Gaylord Fokker. Hilarious character. Um, all the I haven't seen. See, here's the deal. I saw Meet the Parents. Obviously, that was one of the first DVDs my dad owned. Funny enough, Meet bought a parents. DVD. Yeah, I was in seventh seventh or I was playing ba- uh, middle school basketball, so I was in the seventh grade. Dad bought a DVD player. Um, first two DVDs he bought was Gladiator and The Patriot, both good movies. Pretty sure those movies were like fifty dollars at the time a piece. Those DVDs, I think it's what he paid for those, Gladiator and the Patriot. But Where the um, DVD. Like the third or fourth movie he bought was Meet the Parents. So I watched that movie a lot on DVD. Um, it's funny, it's hilarious. Meet the Foggers was hilarious. Um, and then there's one where they've got kids, man. And I went with Gavin Eddie one time and saw it in movie theaters, and I think I slept through it, to be honest. But, <laughs> yeah, which is slept typical through. of me. Yeah, if it ain't no good, and you... Or if I see it at night. If I go see a movie at night, I'm sleeping, man. I mean, if it's, it's, if you get me in a race, especially now that the movie theaters have recliners, we not go, might not go to movie theaters anymore. The only time I used to go to the drive-in, you know, was to get away, be by myself and my girlfriend. You know, back in the day, I haven't been in the, movie, I haven't been in the drive-in since, I don't think, so. But, oh, anyways, so yeah. Been so, Zoolander, I, I do not, I think I might have seen it, but I don't know if I saw Zoolander, so Zoolander was your two? Do you have a number one over Zoolander? I just have a movie, well, it be, meet the parents. At the end is one of the funniest I've ever laughed. It's like, Jerusalem, the what? You don't know shit about flowers. Yeah. That's one of the funniest. I've never laughed so hard. The way he's entire. talking to his father in law. In, in the camera of the. Oh, so, oh yeah. when he catches him. <laughs> yes. It's the recording he after the movie. Cameras, yes. uh, another part of that movie that is so funny is when he's on the airplane. Yeah. Bomb? I can't say bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Yeah. If you can remove this suitcase from my car. <laughs> I was cracking up so hard. It's great. It's great. Meet the Foggers is almost as good. Not uh, as good, but it's pretty Dustin funny. Dustin Hoffman. Dustin oh. Hoffman plays his dad in that one. Plays uh, Gaylord Farker's dad in that one. It is too <laughs> funny. Uh, Barbara Streisand plays the mom. She's she's like a sex, uh, like a sex therapist, therapist in the something. movie. So funny. You gotta so you gotta watch it if you haven't. Um, uh, but I have another good memory. But there used to be this uh, place called uh, Tinsel Town. We went to um, when I was in school, and, you, and they had like if you had your college pass, you could go to like the movie for cheap. Yeah, like seventy five cents. It used to be like the Dollar Theater under uh, Rivergate Bridge over there. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. The yeah, one that, like, probably very similar to that. that like, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, but it was a nice one. It was at this place called Exit Seven, where it's like a good truck stop with like, mm-hmm. all the hotels. But anyways, man, so they had a deal there. And I just remember the opening scene of this movie. Just I, Bubba was with me, which is like my good golf buddy yeah. from college. And man, if mm. he could ever come, that would be fun. So, so your roommate? No, he wasn't my roommate. No, never just, lived with you. Was just your no. teammate. Okay. Yeah, never lived with me. Just my golf teammate. We need to bring him on like and do a masters talk. I went to the masters yeah, if he with ever comes him. In. He lives in so. East Tennessee, so he will. He'll drive to do it. Um. So, anyways. The first thing in this movie, when <laughs> he comes walking in, it's not Ben Stiller, but it's the actor. I always ask you to remind me of who it is, but he comes walking in and he hits that hardwood floor at this wedding man, and whoop, boom, and he busts his 
Hess, dude, at the beginning of the All Along Came Polly Man. Oh, shit, yeah, yes. And then he's Philip like, Seymour Hoffman <laughs> is the one you're yes. talking about. Yes. He, dude, he is even funnier than Ben Stiller in that movie, but Ben Stiller is such a freak panicky yeah. guy in that movie, and his wife, like, leaves Oh, uh, Jennifer it. Aniston. Oh. <laughs> you know, and then it's like, oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be so funny. He's like, movie. We're chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So terrible. Let it rain. First time I saw it. Make it rain. <laughs> yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Hunger Heroin Games killed is him. what I think of. He was in The Hunger Games. He was in Twister. He was in a. Um, the movie, the movie Doubt. Doubt. that I keep telling yes, you that I've you need to watch, watch know, with uh, Meryl. There's, there's one with him and Joaquin Phoenix also that's on Netflix right now. I think it's called The Master, and it's very strange. Like, very strange film. Ooh.